This juice and smoothie bar is bringing nutritious foods to underserved communities with limited healthy options. In this episode of A Taste of Chocolate brought to you by Hyundai, we're inside Turning Natural Juice Bar. This is in District Heights, which is located right outside of DC. And this business actually has six locations since opening this first one in 2013. Let's get a taste. DC is home to many national treasures and some of the best are its black owned food and beverage businesses. So we're exploring Chocolate City to find out how entrepreneurs turn visitors into loyal customers. This is A Taste of Chocolate. I'm here probably like every day, every other day, mostly. I've been coming since I found out about it two weeks ago for two weeks. Like every day? Yeah, like every other day. Do you like coming here too? Mm -hmm. So my favorite thing are the juices, the Fifty Shades of Green, the um, Mikhail Jackson, the Bro Millionaire. What's, what's your favorite? Spinach and veggie patty. I had their waffle yesterday for the first time. So I'm coming back to get three. So Jerry, when people come into Turning Natural, what do you want them to experience? You're gonna come in and order juices named after black legends. You're gonna come in and see black faces. You're gonna hear a plethora of black music. One of the things I wanted to be intentional about that. So when you go to Mexican restaurants, you're ordering in Spanish. When you go to Korean restaurants or Asian restaurants, you're ordering in their language. DC is originally Chocolate City. And so I wanted to remind people that this is still very much a black staple and health can be fun. So I'm a huge, 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 huge music fan, um, specifically hip hop. And it's also a play on a name. So like Nipsey Blue is a blue spirulina in it. The drink comes out blue. You can always tell when someone's not from here. They're like, can I have a Marion Berry? And we're like, hold up, it's Murray and Berry. Or even Petey Green, right? So some people don't know who Petey Green is. And so it's always the introduction into culture and who these people are. Petey Green is one of our nutrient dense juices. It has kale, celery, pineapple, apple, ginger, uh, uh, cilantro, it's literally the whole kitchen sink in there. It had to taste good, but also be healthy. I know a lot of the inspiration for the juice bar comes from your mom. So my mom was a force. Uh, she was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer in 2001, and that drastically changed our lives. Juicing was a big way for all of us to get nutrients in, specifically my mother during that chemotherapy process. And after nine and a half years of recovery and remission, um, cancer came back and it was much more aggressive. And within like two weeks of us finding out that it came back, she passed away. But I did know that I wanted to help people because my mom's story honestly is not unique. Like we have people in our families that have cancer, that have diabetes, that have all type of ailments. But what can we do to combat that? It was important for me to go into underserved communities. First, I grew up in Southeast DC. We don't have access to healthy food options. The grocery store, that one Safeway on Alabama Avenue is providing produce for almost 60,000 people. If you don't have access to a healthy food grocery store or better choices, like let's take healthy food out of it, just better choices, you're in a food desert. We don't have anything in our neighborhood that to me that I know of personally, that is good and refreshing, clean, come and get it, leave. And that's what I like about it. So I would love to uh, make something okay. with you. Can we do like the Bob Marley? We sure can. So the Bob Marley has pineapples, apple, mango, guava, peaches, papaya, branched chain amino acids, which is really good for like muscle recovery and energy and hemp protein. All right. So this is definitely one of our most popular ones. We do not add any sugar. We do not add any ice. It's tropical over, it like hits Bob Marley. You know, it gives you a feeling of like being in Jamaica. And just picture yourself there. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what's the perfect texture? How do you get this? Well, that's why you use frozen fruit. So it doesn't give you like that, you know how ice blends up and it gives you like pieces of ice. Mm. This yeah. is, and then the mango gives you a perfect smoothness to it. You taste pineapple, the guava gives you like that island vibe. I'm gonna grab a straw for you so you yes. can taste it. Yes, I must taste, I must. I wanna go to the island. Mm -hmm. Okay, what island am I going? I'm going to Jamaica, going of course. We're going to Jamaica. Of course, of course. Ah, yes. Very good. Ooh, very, very good. You just wanna say, yeah, ma. <laughs> yeah, ma. <laughs> Delicious.
was looking on your website and so you were saying that this is more than a juice bar. This is a health movement. The whole point is education and experience, right? I don't want people to just drink something because it tastes good. I want that to just be like, oh, and it tastes good. But ultimately, hey, this is good for me and I can do this on a regular basis without it feeling like a chore. I mean, you pay $10 to get something at McDonald's that's gonna clog your arteries or you go to a carry out or a tobacco store and get candy and chips when you can come here and pay the same amount and get something good for your body. We have this idea that health is reserved for like a certain demographic, for a certain economic status. And it's really not, we're proving to the Whole Foods and the Trader Joe's, like not only do black people want this, they deserve it.